हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट पीक एक्सपिरेटरी फ्लो रेट पीक एक्सपिरेटरी फ्लो रेट दिस इज द मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ एयर दैट द पेशेंट एक्सपायर्स इन um uh, if if you see if you give a spirometry to the patient and if you ask the patient to inhale and expire this peak expiratory flow is mainly measured with a peak flow meter and you will ask the patient to expire so if you if you ask the patient to expire then the maximum amount of air that he expires is called has peak expiratory flow the rate at which he expires is peak expirate, expiratory flow this is this is measured by peak flow meter now there is one important thing this peak expiratory flow rate will correlate with forced expiratory volume in one second in forced expiratory volume in one second first you will ask the person to expire now when he expires the gas this is something like this now the amount of air that he expires in one second itself is called as peak expiratory a uh, volume in one second forced sorry forced expiratory volume in one second forced expiratory volume in one second is the amount of air that the patient expires in one second is forced forced expiratory volume in one second this forced expiratory volume is in one second is more when compared to the other seconds like the patient maximally expires uh, in the first one second and the slowly the expiratory rate decreases peak flow rates are mainly measured these peak flow rates are important and they are measured in patients especially in asthmaticus and also it is measured in asthmatics and and copd patients chronic obstructive pulmonary disease patients in order to monitor the therapy and in order to see whether the disease is controlled properly or not thank you and thank you for watching